What up guys and gals? Man, guys, today is a terrible day. Um, I had a blowout. Uh, after I picked my load up this morning up there in Villa Rica, uh, in Georgia, guys. On my way to Columbia, South Carolina, guys. You know, I was just driving down there I-20. And, um, shit, all of a sudden, um, just driving, minding my business, guys. All of a sudden, I heard a loud-ass noise. Bow! Shit, so when I was looking in the mirror, I observed um, that this happened. My trailer, one of my trailer tire uh, blew out, guys. So, um, I should have been changed these tires, guys, when I bought this trailer. Um, because a lot of the, all, most of, most of the tires was already dry rutted when I bought the trailer. So, you know, this right here is on me. I should have go ahead and, uh, replaced all these tires. As you can see, if you look. At the tire itself you can see all the cracks on it which means um, the tire is actually dry rutted guys so you know what I'm saying it was just a matter of time before it gave out but you know, today unfortunately today I'm trying to make this delivery on time uh, which this won't happen because I've been sitting up here to love since uh, uh, three o'clock today, guys. And FYI, guys, you guys know how it goes when you come when you come here at the Love for any type of work, any type of mechanical work done, guys. You're gonna be sitting up here for like at least three to four hours, at least three to four hours, guys. So, I mean, I'm here just a simple uh, tire change, and you know, what I'm saying I'm still here waiting. Uh, one technician been over they got one tire tech you know on um, on duty right now and he been working on the damn he been changing one tire ever since uh, three o'clock ever since I can't I drive in here at the freaking loves so I don't know what take what is actually taking him that long guys to replace a fucking tire but um I'm supposed to be at my appointment at five o'clock today and that shit wasn't gonna happen you know what I'm saying they try to push me and they try to annoy me and aggravate me asking me what time I'm gonna make it you know what I'm saying so the bottom line I told them I can't I can't do anything if a tire been blown you know what I'm saying it's just what happened stuff happens and there's nothing you could do to control it guys so, so this is the scene right here. I mean, it blew out, and the metal was actually built up up against the tire, so he had to get some more gas to the torch too. That's why it's taking so long. So then, what's what? You ain't got no other technicians? Uh, they are on roll calls right now. I'm the only one here. That's it. I'm doing all I can, man. I'm about to get him knocked out, and then I'll get you pulled in. He's already in. I'm already in. He's 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 a problem but because to me like any a, any love that I go to for repairs is always a problem. No I'm just saying this you're gonna stay at least three four hours and I'm telling you put it in and there's no one in the shop. I'm the, I'm just I'm just you know bringing it to you as a manager you know what I'm saying I'm just saying that most of the times you go to a loves is the same issue 
you know what I'm saying? Is I had one technician on, on duty and the situation with him, this is like one of one of the most busiest time of the day is during the daytime to have one technician on, on duty. We don't have one technician on duty. Three, no, I'm just saying, I'm saying they're out, but still, you still need at least two guys, three guys here at the shop because you got trucks coming in and I'm just, I'm just saying that I understand that we have to wait but you know three to four hours waiting just to get a one tire change and he's the only person here working i mean i'm just bringing it to you as a manager you know what i'm saying i'm i'm seeing the problem and the guy inside if you speak to him he gonna tell you he's been here since forever i mean ain't nothing he could do about what happened here but still we have three texts today. Right now, just two of them had roll calls. Roll calls came and they went out. But that's I, the only thing. That's the only reason why I like that. No, I'm just, I'm just saying though. How long you been working at Love? How long have I been working at Love? Yeah. Love's? See, I'm just saying though, like, in order for businesses and stuff like that, you know, as a manager and you know, you have to you have to listen to the um, to the customers. I know. I do. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to be an asshole, but. Um, I'm on the load right now, and I can't do the load because, you know what I'm saying? But ain't nothing I could do. I'm already here, so I, I gotta wait. But at the same time, I know it's, I mean, it's been a long time. I've been here a long time. So it, it's just no way on earth that you guys could keep at least two guys here and two guys on a, on a, on a road call, at least four guys on duty. That's typically what we try to do. It's a lot um, easier. Uh, like in the afternoon shift, they have more people working at that point in time. But at the night shift, we still got to get one. We got to get one the tanks. So that's the biggest thing. So what? We're working on that now. That's the thing. Um, until then, though, we got to do what we got to do. And it sucks, man. I mean, uh, you yeah. just you just think a, a big a place like the Love Travel Center, like. You know, they're going to have technician on deck. I mean, they could afford it. They do. You would think that, but it just depends on the people. You know, you got, with any job, and this is just me and you talking about right now, with any job, outside of love, and stuff, any other business, find the people that's meant for it, that to be there, it's a process. So you're saying, you're saying it's hard to find dependable technicians? Or is that the problem, or is just... I'm not saying because I don't have people for this. I don't have people for that. This is just, this is. Generally speaking, away from love, to outside of this, any other business, yeah, it is hard to find. Yeah, I know that. That's right. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it seems like for me, every love I go to is always a problem. It's, you always got to wait forever to get the, the simplest things done. You know what I'm saying? It's like every anywhere you go, any you love. Uh, Are you recording? I mean, I record and I'm I put your face on the video. You know what I'm saying? But you don't need to be recording. You don't have my permission. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I put your face on the video. We having a conversation. Yeah, but that's that's a whole different beast, though. Like, I I have an issue, and I feel like my issue need to be heard, and I, I ain't the only one with an issue. But I'm not talking about no Okay, I'm talking about the fact that I've been, you know, waiting here for almost what four hours. Okay, well, I, I'm. Is I, I? I could do two things. I could call corporate. Is I? I record it. It doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Is a is an issue that I have as a customer. I'm not putting. I'm not putting. I'm not putting your face on the camera. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, you know, stating my issue. I mean, I get that, but that's that's not appropriate. At least you can ask me. I'm not, you gotta think of my position. Bro. Your face is not on the camera. I get that, but you gotta think of it. Your face is not on the camera. If your face, y'all was putting put your face on the camera, it would have been something different. Your I face mean, is not on the camera. That's not a problem. I'm just saying, I have a problem, right? You know what I'm saying? I have a problem and I'm stating my problem. And I addressed it. Okay, well, well that's it. We don't have anything else to speak about. So guys, you see the damn excuses they make. 
then make a bunch of damn excuses. He trying to make excuses for the technician that he sent two technicians out. That's not my problem. Then he tried to state that fact that he had a problem with me recording. I don't give a damn. Guess what? I have a problem sitting up here for four fucking hours to get one tire change. You like it or not? It's just, I don't know, I ain't the only driver who have problems, guys. You know what I'm saying? Coming here to damn loves. So we gonna see we gonna see how it goes. He don't appreciate. He don't appreciate I, I'm recording. I didn't get his permission, dude. Your face is not even on the camera. I don't I don't have the camera in your face. So guys, yeah, I'm here to love and shit about to get real ugly up here with me and these guys. You know what I'm saying? They're more worried about my damn phone and me uh, recording the bullshit that drivers deal with when they come to the loves. You know what I'm saying? They're more worried about that. Shit, I've been up here going on damn. I, I've, been, I've been at this damn loves ever since like 3 o'clock today. Waiting just to get a, a fucking tire change. That shit doesn't even make no sense. You know, just one tire change, guys. That shit is ridiculous. But he's more worried about me recording him. But guys, you gotta like the video, man. Like the video, comment, subscribe. If you if you understand and you feel what I'm what I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? Show me some love. But guys, it is what it is, man. Like, I don't understand um, these uh, big companies or businesses, you know what I'm saying, who don't live up to the customer's expectations, right? So, as you know, I'm here at the Loves. And now remind you, I've been here since like 3 o'clock today right it is now it's probably 5 30 going on six i've been waiting here all this time just to get a foot uh, just to get a tire um a tire chain i had a blowout earlier today and i'm still here and in the midst of being here i'm recording you know what i'm saying and just to to let people know and see the way the loves operate and the way the loves do business business guys and the manager he got the nerve or they i should say they got the nerve to get upset with me because i'm recording you know what i'm saying the matter of the fact is there's an issue there's a problem you know what i'm saying you guys it is what it is at the end of the day the service at the loves is terrible and you guys know that the service is just it's totally terrible um so guess what if i want to speak about the shit and i want the whole damn the whole world to know that the love sucks that's my prerogative you know what i'm saying i'm not putting the camera in your face i'm not even you, you your face is not even on the camera so then he was like oh i didn't get his permission dude I don't need to get your permission. I'm, I'm, you know, this is a conversation. If I told you I was recording, you probably wouldn't speak and you wouldn't say the things you say. You know what I'm saying? You would have been try to be more careful. So no, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell you I'm recording. I just want. I just want us to speak and just have a conversation the way you feel. You know what I'm saying? You're working for a company. Tell me what you feel about the company you're working for. If you can't be honest and you're working for a company, then you you sucks. You're a terrible uh, supervisor. You're a terrible manager. You know what I'm saying? You know there's problems within the company. You know there's uh, problems within certain departments, but you refuse to address it with the corporate. You know what I'm saying? You're a terrible manager. I don't know why. I don't know how come 
I love these places, loves uh, pilot, a lot of businesses, period. How some people make it to be even supervisors. I really don't, I really don't know how. You know what I'm saying? So while I'm recording inside, you know, I was trying to record the technician, the guy who actually been fucking off all day. You know what I'm saying? He been on a damn, you know, trying to change a tire since three o'clock on, um, on another truck. You know what I'm saying? I was talking to him, but you know, in the midst of talking to him, I was telling him, you know what I'm saying? If, if you mind, you know what I'm saying? If I record, say you really, you want to know why I'm recording. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. It's either you mind, you know what I'm saying? Or you don't mind, I'm you know what I'm saying? I'm recording you. So, okay, well, you see, he, prefer, uh, he, he preferred for me not to record him, so I didn't. So then I was, I was speaking to the other guy, one of the other truckers, and I was explaining to him like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Then he then the technician, he seems to get all rowdy, like um, he won't work, he won't do the work on my truck and I could go ahead and leave, you know what I'm saying? And blah, blah, blah. I was like, bro, dude, he, you know what I'm saying? I've been waiting here all damn day. You know, I'm, I should be, I'm, I, I should be pissed. I should be pissed. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, "Oh well, um, if you keep if you keep on, I ain't gonna work on your truck." And blah blah blah. And he gonna call the sheriff, man. So you know what I mean? I just like, you know what? Let let me get off of this. Get off of this. So I just walk outside. So guys, I'm outside right now. And uh, one of the other guys, I think the manager, um, uh, the supervisor, he's under there changing the tire, changing my tire. You know what I'm saying? Now, guys, I have one blown tire. One blown tire. And it don't take that long. So, I mean, now, I was on... I had was to be at my appointment at 5 o'clock. And I've been here since 3 o'clock trying to get one damn tire change at the Love's Travel Center. The worst, guys, the worst when it comes to uh, service. Um, the technicians and stuff, they just they need to do better. And I hope someone is listening to this video and like one of the managers told me uh over here in the um in the service shop he was like if they take care of the workers and they pay the workers what they deserve you know the workers won't won't leave and he right you know what i'm saying he has a point so you know what i'm saying at the end of the day you got to be honest with yourself like you can't see issues and you can't see problems and try to ignore it you know what i'm saying if a driver is, is waiting three four hours you know five hours just to get one tire change that's a long freaking time you don't see the problem as a manager as a supervisor but guys just wanted to share that um just wanted to share my frustration guys